Do you hate typing on your iPhone and are you annoyed by the number of mistakes you make because you can't reach all of the keys perfectly? Do you feel like you're typing too slowly and you want to speed up? Well, in this video, I'll give you solutions to all of these keyboard problems and many more. Here are 10 features to check out right now to make typing on your iPhone faster, easier and more comfortable. Let's get into it. When working on a laptop, you've always got a trackpad to move your cursor around. This is a huge advantage when editing text. However, the iPhone doesn't fall back here because it has got a hidden trackpad. To activate the hidden trackpad, tap and hold down on the space bar and without lifting your finger off the screen, you can now slide around on the keyboard to move your cursor wherever you want to change your text. And it works flawlessly, so text editing is much more convenient. Normally when typing on a screen, it means you're missing out the physical feedback you get when typing on an actual keyboard. However, since iOS 16, so the newest software version, there's a new haptic feedback feature for the iPhone's keyboard. To activate this feature, open the settings app, navigate to sounds and haptics and tap on keyboard feedback. Here you can activate the haptic toggle. Be aware that Apple themselves informs that this can affect your iPhone's battery life. However, the physical confirmation you get every time you're tapping a key is really smooth and comfortable. So it's a feature worth checking out. Do be clear that this only works on iPhones updated to iOS 16 and later, so check if you're on the latest software version. Typing one-handed on large iPhones like the Max or Plus series can be a pain. However, you can make it much more comfortable by shifting your keyboard slightly to the hand you're typing with, making the keys more reachable. Just tap and hold the globe or emoji icon in the bottom left corner and slide your finger up to one of the two keyboard options. When tapping on this icon, you'll find the right-handed keyboard, which will shift all of your keys to the right side of the display. When tapping on this icon, you'll find the left-handed keyboard, shifting all of your keys to the left side of the display. To get your keyboard back to normal, press the arrow on the other side of the keyboard. If you tend to type the same blocks of text again and again, set them up as a text shortcut. This is a great way to save time and effort whilst typing. To set up a text shortcut, open the settings app and navigate to general and keyboards. Here you can tap on text replacement. Add a shortcut by tapping on the plus in the top right corner. Now type in the phrase you want to be typed out every time you use the shortcut. So for instance, I use see you later a lot. Then type in the shortcut text that will be replaced, so for see you later, I'll just use SYL. Make sure to use a phrase, abbreviation or word that you don't use when typing normally, so your text is not replaced by accident. Like many Apple devices, the iPhone has got a dictation feature. This can be a real time saver and it got even better with the release of iOS 16. To activate dictation, tap the microphone icon in the bottom right area of your keyboard. Now start dictating whatever you want to write down. You can also dictate punctuation, so for example, I will be late for dinner, exclamation mark. However, if you're on iOS 16, so the latest software version, dictation will automatically insert punctuation whenever necessary. For example, when dictating, hey, when are you there, a question mark is automatically inserted. There's no need to decide between typing and dictating, you can just pause talking and make an edit to your text using the keyboard, which stays on screen. Just continue talking and dictation will resume. You can also dictate emojis since iOS 16 and the key is to say emoji after your description. So for example, dog emoji inserts, you guessed it, a dog emoji. To exit dictation mode, just tap the microphone icon again. When you're typing and you've made a mistake, you can easily get rid of your latest edit. To do so, option one is to give your iPhone a gentle shake. This will open a pop-up menu to undo your typing. If shaking your iPhone in public makes you feel a bit embarrassed, I can definitely understand. So you can also trigger the same effect by swiping to the left with three fingers on your screen. You will receive a notification at the top of the screen to confirm that your last action has been undone. As a side note, both of these features work system-wide for anything you want to undo, like accidentally having closed a tab in Safari or deleted a photo in the Photos app. On iPhone, there's no need to type out every single character of your words. You can actually slide to type. It takes a bit of practice at the start, but once managed, it can be a lot quicker than normal typing. Just quickly swipe between the letters of the words you're wanting to type and don't lift your finger from the keyboard. Pause for just a fraction of a moment after every word, then move on to the next one. Your iPhone guesses the word you're wanting to type and writes it down. If it's incorrect, just press the backspace key and the complete word will be deleted. 
You may love Cytotype or you might hate it, but I find it to be really quick and accurate. When you have to copy text from anywhere in your environment, so for instance from a book, another screen or an advertisement, you can use the scan text feature. Just tap on the screen where you're typing, which will open this pop-up menu above your cursor. Here, select the text capturing icon. This will open up your camera, which you can hold above any nearby typed or even handwritten text. If text is detected, it will lighten up. Now tap on the text capturing icon in the bottom right corner to fixate the text. This will basically take a photo and you can highlight the text you want to copy into your document. Then tap insert. When your iPhone expects you to type in a web address or email address, you can easily access different web suffixes. To do so, tap and hold the full stop and without lifting your finger off the screen, move it to the web suffix you want to insert. Again, be aware that this only works if your iPhone recognizes the field you're typing in as a browser search or email address entering field. If you're often typing in different languages, you can easily access character variations and accents without having to switch the language of your keyboard. Just tap and hold on a letter to access its accent variations and slide your finger up without lifting it off the screen to choose the variation you need. You can also use this on the symbols keyboard, for instance on the question mark, the exclamation mark or the dollar sign which will give you other currencies. Tapping and holding on the zero will give you degrees. Alright guys, that's it. Hope you had many takeaways so you can type much quicker and more comfortable on your iPhone. If so, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like or comment down below and would consider to subscribe to my channel. Click here to get to my latest video and I'll see you in the next one.